and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2. When we last left off, we just walked on to the set of Attack of the Killer Pumpkins, brought to you by Palethorn Industries, starring Sir Daniel Fortescue and his quest to stop the nefarious Palethorn because his movies are crap. Anyways, <laughs> let's get going and you climb up those ladders. By the way, the souls, if one of the humans die, you do lose 6% from the chalice. So, yeah, I think you can only like lose one or two before you can be permanently locked out of getting the, uh, the chalice in this level. Oh, come on, get on. Dump, dump, blur. Dump. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny thing. They still kept that little detail where if you jump up and hit Dan's head, he'll he'll make that noise. And let's get climbing on these rather on these oddly placed ladders. And this greenhouse has seen much better days. And like, ah. yeah, trying to climb around this area is rather difficult. And the controls are all screwed up. Come on, just let me off! Ugh. For crying out loud! Oh, yeah, you have to press left and right to go down, and up and down to go. Ugh. Come on! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Derp! Now here we get the pond room valve, and we want to drop down here because if we try to drop down there, we're gonna die. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and drop down here and yeah grab an antidote and fill it out even though it's just only a few even though it's just only four percent still a good idea to keep the antidote as full as possible oh and here we got some more plant monsters thankfully the humans are down there and the pumpkin plants are up there I'd imagine you'd have to stop the pumpkin plants yet again if they somehow did there go down there because they'll go after the humans. All right. Now, where is the Oh, it's not there. Where is the green one? Well, we did pass by it, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to need to go ahead and Get up there. And. Ah! Camera! Oh. Blunk. <laughs> ah, that detail is always hilarious. I really do like it when game developers pay attention to little details that. where the character actually reacts differently to different situations. Now. Oh, yeah, there was that thing, but I'm gonna try and. I'm gonna go for that later. That bag of gold. And also, I should have... Really, when that pumpkin was rolling down... Or rolling up that ramp on the roof of the... Of this greenhouse. Did I really need to ask that question as to how it did it? It's freaking magic! It's... And... It's because Palethorn has the spell page that Xerox used... In the first game to make the Pumpkin Gorge and Serpent King level. Anyways, let's use the Pond Room Valve. Okay, first of all, does this place look like a pond to you? No, it doesn't. In that second area, yeah, it kind of does. But it's not much of a good pond, if you ask me. Now, anyways, let's go and grab this, the Hot House Valve. And, oh god. Oy. That would have been rude. Yeah, I had to mute the mic. Don't you dare! Yeah, falling off down... Falling off here will get you killed. And also, I think I know... what. I think I remember I, what's coming up, and I'm not exactly too happy about it. You can probably guess why, considering the last two parts. And also, holy crap, I could not speak! 
last video. I was just concentrating way too hard. And yeah, the antidote, I'm pretty sure, resets the time before the humans mutate into pumpkin plants. And let us drop there. Refill our health. Oh, oh just gotta be careful. Don't want to accidentally waste any antidote. Now, climb, climb, climb. And let us get across this, shall we? On this rather weird plant thing. And, anyways, give me a moment, if you please. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. And once we get in here... Ugh. Yeah, there's more humans. And we got to work fast. Ugh. Oh, crap, crap. Uh, sorry, just a little. Oh, there's. All oh, right. Wow. Damn. That was yeah. That was pretty good. Even though I wasn't talking that whole much. Okay. Now, let us go ahead and use the. Hot House Valve, which is this place. Oddly enough, we, of course, we, well, we don't get a cutscene, but yeah, for some reason, these things still fire at you, even though you shouldn't, because the water's running and they should bloom. Oh, gosh. Oi! That was a little burfy. Ugh. Now, we want to go into this room. Not only for a fountain of reju... Well, no. Actually, the fountain of rejuvenation isn't here. It's up there. But we do want to come in here for a life bottle. And there's those pumpkin bombs on legs. Look at them! Look at these ridiculous things! Um... Uh, I guess they only last a few times, because I pressed square and I was like, what? Did I just kill those things? But no, I just... I just caused it to... They just ran out of time before they died. <laughs> Moving on, let us go here. Now, here in this chest is the Silver Shield. Yep. And because and now that we have silver shields, the copper shields are now going to go out of fashion. Now we're going to want to want to do this. And actually, I do want to equip the small sword for... Well, I guess it's actually pretty bad. Never mind. Yeah, you just kind of want to wait this bit out. Because now it's kind of a gauntlet. So we've got to wait for these pumpkin bombs to explode for the next bit. And getting savaged yet again. Yeah, once the... Ugh. Okay, I, I need to turn this on. Ugh. Yeah, and also, by the way, the door is locked, so we're stuck in here. Come on! Get him! Get him, Max! Oh, wait! Stop it! Evil pumpkins! Now I want to grab this energy vial. This time, good times any. And with that, the chalice can now be collected! And more pumpkin plants. Also, you gotta be careful now! Because now giant pumpkins are rolling around. Let's see, two. 
Three. Ah! You can hear them rolling about. Four. Oh gosh! Yeah, I think you can only like lose about two humans. Stop. Knock it off! Yeah, I think you can lose just about two humans before the chalice is uncollectible. Holy hell! And with that, we are now done. Hooray! This awful area is over! And we need to backtrack a little bit. Because we need to go ahead and collect the chalice. And I am not killing these people. They're good people. There's no need to be so malicious. And let's just equip the hammer again. And... Ah! Yeah, take a little bit of damage from falling there. Oi, oi, oi! No, I'm actually pretty happy with myself. Oh, God. Because this... All in all, this place went pretty well. Didn't have to do any second attempts or anything for any of those rooms. Because, yeah, you can probably guess why I po I stop and restart after before the all those areas. And, yeah, that there is only three areas to deal with where you have to protect humans. Now we just want to go all the way over here. Back up and do that. And just walk carefully. And if we walk up here, climb up here, we can in fact find the chalice. This is where it was all along. Now, let us finally leave the Kew Gardens and leave this crappy production of this Attack the Killer Tomatoes ripoff behind us. Now, where do I go down? Where do I go down for Funky Town? Oh, over there. Oh, come on, stupid. Oh, like, just what kind of plant is that, anyway? It's just, like, so weird. I don't know, maybe it's just some mutated, more mutated plant life from the spell that Palethorn cast. Ugh, why? Just why? Always had to be someone to mess with magic, make us spell users look bad. Yeah, the reason... Yeah, I honestly, when it comes to something like d and I always just about play a spellcaster. Because really, spells are fun. Magic's, magic is fun in general. Because you get to do all sorts of crazy stuff. Like turn people into sheep. Though I have never really... No, personally, I've never done that. Usually when I play a sorcerer or something, usually, which is the class that I play in D&D, I usually just go all out and just start blasting stuff to smithereens with fireballs and things like that. Though when you have a party of four or more... Ah! <laughs> it's kind of hard to use. Ah! Oi, you son of a... Okay, apparently there are some pumpkins waiting for us. Yeah, but when you have a party... Especially with a lot of a party with a lot of allies, you gotta be careful because you can hurt your allies with fireballs and things like that. And what the heck is going on here? Where's the professor? Where does where's my reward? Huh? Huh? What's going on? The professor asked me to give you this. <laughs> And for that, we get the bombs. All right, Dan, you've come a long way. I'd save if I was you. What? Saving? What the heck is this nonsense? Yes, the bombs is the fifth reward. Because, yeah, that's how many chalices we've gotten. And you do get... That's the reward that you get. Ooh.
What the hell is going on? Where's Kia and the professor? And why can't I use the projector? Where's our next mission? Well, let's just go ahead and go here. Now, what's all this hubbub? Dan! Dan! Not a moment too soon! Palethorn is launching an all-out attack! Kier says he's made some giant monster that will crush us all! Our only hope is to make our own! And using Kier's embalming knowledge, I think we can! In fact, I already have the head, but I need limbs! Limbs, Dan! I don't care what you've got to do to get them, we must get limbs! <laughs> Now's no time to be squeamish, Fortescue! Just bring me the limbs, one at a time! Place them on the slab, and we'll build a monster of our own! Well, crap, and yes, this is in fact another mission. And we have a time limit, eight minutes. And Professor Hamilton Kiff's research notes. Date, 12, let's see, 12, 3, 1885. What's that, 12, sorry, I just, ah, screw it. I'm not in the mood, <laughs> I'm not in the mood to read. Don't care, I'm not thinking right now about dates. I'm thinking about playing this game, damn it. My experiments have been a partial success. So far, I have managed to reanimate a number of body parts. Unfortunately, they tend to mutate into ghastly creatures that are quite beyond my control. I am forced to release them to forever roam searching for food in the bowels of the London Underground. I'm afraid to say that at this point, my research has reached a dead end. And... 23rd of May... 1886. Since her arrival, Kia has been helping me with my experiments. Her knowledge of Egyptian embalming techniques has led me to believe that great progress can be made. Whilst Fortescue is out saving the world, I have been making the final touches to a machine that I am convinced will be able to create a fully formed human specimen. Well then. Also, I want to turn this on. Also, yeah, the bombs... They're a little dangerous to use because you can press X to light one and drop one, and or press square to throw one. But the explosive, the explosive radius is kind of bad. And here we have limb creatures. Oh God! Oh, what the hell? Okay, there we go. For some reason, the axe wasn't working. We actually do need to kill these creatures. It does take a while to kill them, and there we go! Now here we have a right leg, and we gotta get to the professor as quickly as we can, because the limbs will expire. And here we go. That's the first limb. Now let's go ahead and get the other one. Or the other parts. And... Oh god. Ugh. Now the bombs can be pretty good here, but and these guys are being arse faces. And here we go. Here we have the right arm. Let's deliver this to the professor right away. And also the chalice is filling up quite nicely. Let's deliver this. And you know what, Dan? Don't be such a wuss. Dealt with this. You've dealt with all types of weird things over the. Over the your adventures in Galomir in the first game, so what the hell is that thing? Well, that's a weird-looking creature. Okay, now, Arr. God, yeah, these creatures are these limb creatures are extremely powerful. And oh God, ugh, how? And here we got one of the legs. Whoop. Let's see, which leg do we have? The left leg. All we need now is a torso. Oh god. The torso, the another leg, or another arm, and something else. Do need to kill these other things though. So you need to find the other limb creatures. 
Now there's the one. And haha, -ha, that one was pretty good. And here we have the torso. Whew. Yeah. Thankfully, we have a whole lot of time to do this. And there we go. Just need the arm, and we're good to go. And also, yep, you can see there is, in fact, the chalice up there. Also... And there we go. The chalice can be collected, and that is the wrong part. And also, yeah, I think I shall end it here, because, well, I'm getting over the time limit. So... That shall be it for me. I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and I shall see you in the next video where we shall collect more body parts. Lovely. Just lovely.